Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'm showing you how to add a pop-up template with the help of Jet pop-up plugin. The first thing you need to do once you have installed the Jet pop-up plugin is to click on the label in your navigation menu on your left sidebar in the dashboard and press add new pop-up. Here you'll need to enter the name for your template and click edit with Elementor. And it takes you to the editor where you can add the elements to your template. Let's add a heading. But you can add pretty much any element you wish. I will also add an image. Some text and one more widget that goes with the Jet pop-up plugin, which is pop-up action button. What's specific about this button is that you can set an action type, such as a link, or this button can also trigger the leave page action for the user, so the user is going to leave the page, or this button can close the pop-up once the user clicks on it. Here you can change the button text and add a button link. If you go to this little gear icon in the left hand bottom corner, you can access these settings for your pop-up. Such as some general settings and some style settings for your pop-up container, the button and the overlay. In the style settings for your pop-up container, you can set the width, whether you want to use the custom height or you want the height to be set automatically, the horizontal and vertical position background type, padding margin border radius, border type and box shadow, pretty much all the regular settings you've got for the elements. Here are the style settings for the close button, which is a little cross in here, but if you don't want this to be the cross, you can change the icon to the one that you like. You can also disable the close button and set the settings for the icon transform and change the icon style on normal and on hover. And here you can set the pop-up overlay. Here in the settings tab you can change the title and the status. In the jet pop-up settings you can set the animation for the appearance of your pop-up. Here you can choose from a number of trigger events and whether you want to show this pop-up once. And here are the opening conditions. If you want to learn more about the opening conditions and trigger events, check out another tutorial on Jet Pop-up plugin. In order to save this template, you have to go and click Publish. But that's it for creation of the pop-up template. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.